A tragic day for the Detroit Police Department. Two officers found dead inside a home on Six Mile and Farmington Road. Investigators calling it a murder-suicide. Fox News' Josh Landon live with more on this. Josh, obviously, was, a lot of us saw this yesterday breaking on our phones from Fox 2 getting that alert. Hey, Jay and Amy, good morning to you. Yes, a very horrible situation and a shock for so many people, as you're alluding to. Uh, the investigation is ongoing after two Detroit police officers were found dead inside of their home from gunshot wounds, which appears to be an apparent murder-suicide over the weekend. Investigators say they arrived at the home around 1230 Sunday afternoon to find the two officers found dead inside their home on Six Mile near Farmington Road. Now, authorities are working to determine exactly when the murder-suicide occurred. The victims, a 22-year-old female and a 26-year-old male, both on the Detroit Police Force for less than five years. We expect to learn much more in the coming days. Detroit Police not releasing the names of the two victims or the precincts where they were assigned to at this time. More than likely, that may not be the case or as far as that information being released at a later time, but we shall wait and see. The focus right now, as you can imagine, is to comprehend exactly what happened. And fortunately enough, the baby that was found inside of that condo Sunday afternoon was not harmed, is alive and doing well, and is staying with family at this time. Here's much more from Detroit police, including the police chief. One of our officers was on patrol and was contacted, flagged down by a family member about the address behind us here, and they wanted a well-being check on the residents at the house. When our officers entered, they discovered two people that were deceased. We'll have our chaplains here, we'll have our peer support team here, uh, but uh, you know, none of that can really take some of the heartbreak away from what our officers are dealing with. Those that know both of them, work with both of them. Again, a very tough time for the Detroit Police Department and the families involved with these two victims, and we expect to learn much more in the coming days. Live in Detroit, Josh Landon, Fox 2 News.